what has really helped me stay focused and motivated is that I do things for me. I don't do them for anyone else. And I had to learn that lesson because when we try to please others, it's never good enough. It's whether, and I'll give you a concrete example. I remember when I was in college, a, a friend of mine said, I, I told him I was going to be taking a certain class. And he said, he goes, oh, he goes, that professor never gives A's to girls. And I said, really? I'll be the first girl that gets an A in that class. But it wasn't that I could fix that. It was more of an unconscious bias that she had, you know? So I could never please her, no matter how hard I studied, no matter how hard I did. But it was because I wanted to show her that I could do it. And the motivation wasn't in the right place. You know, I think that if the motivation would have been, I need to learn as much as I can from this class to make me a better person, to make better decisions in the future, I think I would have enjoyed the class a little more and I wouldn't have been so disappointed to get a B in the class because it would have been, you know, it, it, I couldn't change that the way she thought about the world. And so that was a really good example for me to really say, whatever I do in life has to be for me. It has to really add to, to the things that I believe in and to the things that really bring me joy. And that's how I stay motivated. It's really to stay focused on things that inspire me and things that bring me joy.